Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to Schism. We are in a parallel dimension or something as we've experienced a shift and now we are here in nighttime Argillus, I guess. Is it Argillus or Argillus? Also, can we go back? I can always reload my save if this causes us to go back. I made it back. Do you copy? That's an affirmative. Am I glad to hear you? Me too. I'm downloading my log of what happened. I'm receiving it. Okay. Looks like quite a trip. <laughs> we didn't really even do anything. Can we go back in? Uh, the lights are on. Does that mean... Yes, okay. So we can just go back and forth at will. Interesting. Okay, so we are in the, the parallel version, right? Hey there. Who are you? You one of our people? I don't think so. I'm glad you came. You speak Some English. Of us, a few of us have learned your language. Yeah. You are on the doorstep of our sanctuary. The decision is yours. The wanderer or the good servant. Which will it be? I thought they were the same thing. Uh Okay, that's a little weird. So can I actually go into any of the houses? I find it weird there are lights on. Nope, I can't. Okay. I'm assuming that's the case for all of them except the center one. I wonder if Sam could come here with me. Oh, why can't he actually go out? That's problematic. Uh... I can look up, though. Okay, so I'm still in daytime one, right? Or sunset one. Okay, so what do I actually do here? There's got to be a reason why I can come here, right? Like, I was getting all excited because I thought I could explore the whole thing. I wonder if Sam has to hold this down somehow. Let me try that. Because right now it's up, so if I push this, does it affect Hannah? Okay. Yes, it does. Okay. Cool. And I still can't go across. Well, that's weird. And it's back up again. Uh... So it seems like it does affect the the parallel dimension. But I can't actually go. Why can't I go? Hmm, maybe there's something more to find here. Whoa. Why is it daytime all of a sudden? Okay, that is really weird. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's intentional. I think that's a bug. Do I have to go into one of these houses? Okay, let's just check all of them to be thorough. I know going into the middle will send me back. Hmm. Nothing doing there. What is going on with that house? I really want to know what's going on with that. And that doesn't work. Weird, okay. So, if I come here as Sam, what will happen? If anything. Maybe I actually have to go there as Sam. Okay, what will happen now that I try to go back? And it's still up. Weird. Even though this is open. Oh, now it's open. Yeah, the weird bridge state thing is... And then the day-nighttime switch over here is kind of a little odd. <laughs> that is so bizarre. Okay, I wish I could go across. That would be great. 
But maybe I actually have to take Sam with me before I do that. So let's see what happens when Sam goes inside the door. Nothing. So... Huh, so are all the doors locked when the shift happens? It certainly seems that way. I am very curious to know what's going on. What do I do about this? What? See, I thought I could just go back free and clear without having to be blocked with the bridge thing. Like I, I don't really get how that's supposed to to work. And I'm wondering if there might be a bug in play here now. So, as Sam, can I go back? Yeah, it certainly seems that way. But as Hannah, I can't go back. Why can I not go back? I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm having trouble figuring out what I'm supposed to be doing while I'm here. Alright, let me get a little hint. This is not the sort of thing I want to just ball over for half an hour, so... Oh, did I lose my... Oh, wait, here it is. I got it. Alright. Uh... Do, do, do. Okay, I, I do know how to get into... the building and all that. We did that part. Okay, the drawbridge. Okay, we, we cross the drawbridge, but I want to go back as Hannah. It just says I can walk to it when I cross it, but... Huh. Let me try going back. I, I don't actually have any hints, by the way, right now. Okay, we're back. So I'm assuming that... Can I go through any of these doors, or are they all locked now? They're all locked now. Okay. So if I uh, cross over as Sam, what happens? Does anything happen if I use Sam to go inside the center thing? Okay, we're back out here. Okay, now there's this is way less buggy now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That looks interesting. What is that? Wait a second. I think we just found something. That was definitely not there here. Okay, I am taking a picture of that. That looks like it could be useful, particularly in a uh, another area of the game that we haven't really been to for a while. That looks like it could be useful in that uh, typewriter area. Okay. So that seems to be all we can actually do here. See, I thought we could actually explore the whole game with <laughs> with uh, this dimensional shifting going on. I just want to make sure there's nothing else in terms of clues that we need to find here. So let me just look around thoroughly here again. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, I'm glad I saw that. That was, that was actually a pretty lucky break. Is that important up there? Can I see that as Hannah? I can. So it's really just this part with the lights that I can't see. I wonder what those actually are. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and go back. And I guess I'll go back to the typewriter thing. Hmm. 
Okay. We'll head back across the bridge. I'm kind of glad the game didn't let you go across the bridge, because if it did, I'd probably be wandering over there and missing the clue that was up right up there on the cliff and all that. That's, uh, that's quite well hidden. Oh wait, we went all the way up to the top, didn't we? Please stop here. No! No, 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 no! There you go. You know, while we're di while we're here though, let me check the second floor out. I don't know if anything's changed since we went in s went through the shift, but it'd be interesting to see if this house is now accessible. Nope. Nothing happening there. Oh well, it was worth a shot. I figured since those ones were locked, then maybe that one would be unlocked now. I mean, you never know. Alright, so the third floor is where we go to get back out over here. So, the, the one thing that's going through my mind right now is we may have the sequence of, like, um, for the uh, little switch things on top, we still don't really know what order in which to press the buttons on that typewriter. So, I don't really know what exactly we're supposed to do here. At this point, I'm not opposed to looking up hints on, unless I really need them. And usually when I do, I try to just come up with something that's, you know, pretty vague that I can figure s things out on, uh, on screen still. Or at least explain how I figured things out on screen. ship's still here, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and head back. I don't know if we'll need Hannah for any of this. I'm really hoping not, because that would be a, quite a long trip. But, you know, just in case, I'm actually going to go ahead and bring her along. Because at the very least, we would only be making one trip with the, with the ship anyway. And if we don't need her, then she can stay on the ship. So I'm trying to think of what else we've seen that might help us with the typewriter thing. I I know there's that paddle thing at the very start of Sam's journey, but I really don't know how that fits in unless the sequence we pressed there is the same sequence of buttons we need to press in the typewriter. I'm doubting that, though. That would be too easy to do. I wonder if you could both ride in this car. That'd be kind of interesting to see. Whoops. I gotta say, the graphics in this game, especially for their time, are really, really cool. Like, I just love the scenery here. The puzzles may be really devious, but the scenery is just wonderful. Alright, let's get on the ship and go back to the caves. Alright, so we'll switch over to Sam. He's got the inventory. We still haven't used these beads anywhere. Okay, yeah, we can stop on the way down, I guess. Never noticed that. Okay, let's go up to the area up here. I'm wondering if we'll actually fill out the entire navigation thing for this device. 
Because, I mean, there's still, what, five more spots to go? Can't imagine visiting that many more places. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> that little tail thing looks funny. Okay, the camera there was a little strange, but alright. Alright. Also, I'm wondering if we'll ever get any more additional coordinates for Sam's vessel as well. I'm calling it Sam's vessel just because, you know, he was the one who was riding on it and originally found it. Okay. Wonder if we'll encounter any more ghost stuff on the way there. I wish I had more to say, but I'm just trying to think if there's uh, anything I've missed, and there, there very well could be. I mean, there's still the stuff in the temple that we weren't able to do anything with. I still haven't been able to f uh, find a place for those. I'm just going to see what happens when we insert the... Uh, or the combination of uh, stops, I guess, or little switch things into the typewriter. I don't know if it's going to do any good or not, but it's worth a shot, right? Okay, here we go. Alright, let me bring the picture that I took out. Okay. What have we got here? We've got... Okay, these are all up right now. So up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. So, assuming this still works the same, this is not going to do anything. This is like the erasing one. Yep, nothing happened. I'm kind of half tempted to press them in the order that we use the wheel in, but I'm just going to try all of them and see what happens. Okay. No alarm bells going off yet. You know, I'm noticing something here. There's two sets of eight things. And I thought, at, at first I was thinking that I had to get these all on. Like, in the up position. Wait, did I just do this one last or this one? I'm assuming this one. And I'm wondering if maybe instead of getting them all up, the objective is to get a combination that we could use back at the uh, um, the rocket area, the, the area at the end of the train tracks, because this there's eight, there's two sets of eight switches there. All right, I'm gonna see what kind of hints I can get for this that aren't gonna spoil everything outright. Because it's getting to the point now where I, I, I feel like we've we've explored a lot, and I really just want to make progress now. Okay. One of the last puzzles you'll be able to solve. Okay. Interesting. Twelve sliders. I think I. Yeah, the twelve sliders are the the. Uh, the place we got to through the dimensional shift. Okay. 
Alright, so we, we got that out, but what about the keys? Okay, we have seen... Okay, apparently we need information from the... from Mr. Santo in the jail. Oh, and apparently I can't do that until I solve a bunch of other stuff. Hmm. Okay, I don't really know how I'm supposed to get the information from Santo. Hmm. Do I just go back there now? You know what, L let me... I should have just stayed on the island. <laughs> let me go back there and I'll give it a shot, you know. It's, I'll see if I can if I can talk to him again. Um, let's go back to the third destination. You know, I would actually appreciate if we didn't fill all this out, because it would be kind of realistic if we didn't actually use everything. All the, the, uh, address book save points. So my question, though, is, is there something that we have to do, because these hints made it sound like we had to do something before we could talk to Santo again. Okay, so apparently I'm just supposed to visit him as often as I can. Okay, well, it's worth a, worth a try, right? We made some progress you know, with the rest of the island, so I might as well just try seeing what he has to say next. Sorry I stranded you there, Sam, but uh, I got a guy in a jail cell to talk to. Priorities, you know. If there's one thing I wish this game had, it's like a faster way to get places, especially since you have to watch all these animations every single time you walk around, and you can't skip any of the transportation cutscenes. Like, if it weren't for that, I feel like this game would feel a lot less padded out, because that's kind of what it's feeling like. I mean, don't get me wrong, the puzzles are definitely very involved, and I, I really appreciate that. Alright, so we just go there, right? I just wish there was a little bit more in the way of puzzles and less walking around and writing on stuff, you know? But, conversely, walking around and writing on stuff gives you an opportunity to check out all these amazing, you know, scenes and everything, so... I can't complain about that too much, right? Okay, the frame rate kind of dropped there. I really like this location. I, I think this is probably one of my favorite locations in the game, because it feels very distinct from everything. I mean, everything does to a degree, but I, as far as like everything within the world of adventure gaming, this f kind of has its own feel. Like It doesn't feel like a mist thing. It feels like its own thing. I guess you could say that about the area where Hannah started as well. Uh, let's see, it's down at the very bottom. Oh, wait a minute! Sam is gonna have to be here because I can't talk to Santo with the water! Oh, no! Oh, you've gotta be kidding. Yep, I can't get over there. Well, that just sucks. I... Oh, that, that's got to be one of the, the worst requirements for something that, in this game. Like that, 
I don't know if I agree with that. I agree with doing that, like, one time, but being constrained to that, I feel like that's a little much. And I... The ship won't be out here, will it? Oh, man. Ooh. You know, I just thought of something. I don't think Sam's ship... Yeah, the ship's not out here. I don't think Sam's ship will be able to go anywhere else unless we find another disc and we find another one of those... Uh, um, what you call them things? Wheel things to put him in that gives us those coordinates, right? Alright, so this is just going to be a bunch of walking around, I think. Man. I should never have got, have left this island. I should have just gone and visited the guy again. I think what bothers me about this particular puzzle is that the fact that you actually are constrained to talking to Mr. Santo by having both people here feels arbitrarily difficult. Like, or not arbitrarily, artificially difficult. Like, why do you have to do that, you know? What's the point of that? Okay, uh, it was this one. Okay, let's go pick Sam up again, and we'll both come back. Oh, I'm sorry about this, everybody. I'm trying to think of what I could talk about while we're doing this. Oh, I know! Uh, so last night, I got to do something really fun. One of my friends, who's a graphic designer, taught a hand lettering class in her house. And... Um, I've always kind of had an interest in graphic design, like doing design things on paper and stuff, and on the computer, but I've never really took a deep dive into it. So having a friend who's really passionate about it is really cool. Well, both she and her husband are passionate about it, um, but it was just really fun to do it, and I really enjoyed just the amount of insight she had on the subject, because to her it just all comes naturally, like she's been doing it for so long. but. What we did is we, we got to just play around and practice on, like, chalkboards, like little miniature chalkboards. And then we got to, like, do our own little piece of artwork on a canvas. And so I actually made a, a, a thing that said Let's Play on it, which uh, is not so much meant to be a reference to the YouTube channel, but more to uh, board games since I host a lot of game nights at my house and stuff, or my apartment. So, I don't know, I might actually take a picture of it and make it my YouTube avatar um, temporarily, maybe. But I'm proud of the way it came out. I mean, it has, like, a game pawn and a die, you know, so it is very specific to tabletop games. But, I don't know, I, I think it looks really neat, you know, regardless. So, I mean, it's not super perfect, but at least for an amateur effort, it's not that bad, you know. Okay, so we should be in in place to go back to the other island, right? Okay. Actually, I might as well just stay down, right? I don't have to... Alright, we'll watch this again. Okay. Sam, you're in the bottom area already, right? You're No, you're in the top area. That's right. We're both up here. That's right. I've commented about making wanting to make sure he stayed down, and I didn't do it. Okay, so I'm wondering if we can both fit on the, the little rail car. Because that would be really cool if we could. I know we can't fit on the, the little scooter thing. 
But if we could fit in that rail car, man, that would be cool. I think we can, just because uh, we don't automatically drive it when we climb into it, so I think that's a pretty good sign. Alright, let me see if I can switch when I'm in here. Yeah, I can. So let's go ahead and go over there. Come on. There we go. Haven't encountered any ghosts for a while, so that's been kind of nice. Don't have to deal with interruptions, can just enjoy the solitude. Yeah, I didn't know Mr. Santo was going to give us more hints, so that's good to know. I'm wondering if how many times we'll have to come back here to do this. But now that I know that that's a possibility, I'm going to keep Sam and Hannah together as much as I can. I mean, as much as, as is reasonable, which this game's definition of that seems to be kind of a little bit different than mine. So can I both get in? No, okay. Evidently not. That's interesting. So you, you have to commit to going somewhere. All right, well, in that case, let's just go not there. Over here, nope. There. Okay, we'll get to watch this cutscene a couple of times. You know, I actually am tempted to leave one of them here on this island. Um, just in case we need to talk to Santo again. At least he'll be positioned to be at the wheel. I mean... Because at this point, I haven't seen another puzzle that requires two people. And until I do, I mean, I figured I might as well not waste the time and energy taking everyone everywhere, right? So. Let's at least give it a shot. We'll, we'll, we'll do it this way for now. I might come to regret this again, but... Alright, so I'll put my hand on the wheel. Alright, so you're going to hold that wheel the whole time while we're doing this. Poor Sam. I'm going to confine him to holding that wheel for hours. <laughs> oh, man. I got a bit, though. The, the game scenery is so good that I... While I do mind doing this back and forth thing, it... The scenery definitely makes it a lot more bearable. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's walk on the path. But yeah, uh, other than the hand lettering class, I haven't really had a whole lot else going on. Oh, wait, no, I do. I had a game night at a coworker's house on Friday night, and they were warning me beforehand, oh, we don't have any central AC or anything, and I was like, oh, that's all right. But they only had, like, one fan in the whole house, and it was just, like, a tiny little ceiling fan, and I was like, no! So we actually ended up playing the games outside for, like, I think until 10 o'clock, and then we moved inside, because it's been really hot up here, which is kind of surprising. Like, normally it's not this bad at nighttime, but lately it has been. Alright, let's see what happens. There he is. Well, if you decide to unlock the Wanderer, two operations are needed back at Bosch. Osa and Dissa. Just promise you'll come back for me. Osa and Dissa. Okay, those are definitely words. If can, tell him we'll do our best. And remember what he said. Osa and Dissa. Okay, yeah, that sounds more like what we heard. So... Osa looks like the uh, lightning bolt, and Dissa... Maybe that's the one that sounds like Esau, the one that looks like an F. That's the closest thing I've got in my phonetic attempts. Attempts at phonetically spelling those things out. 
Okay, um, so let me go back to the cave thing. Make sure I do the correct number of notches there. I'm assuming that this is not the end of the game, because there's still so many questions. I've got about a lot of areas here. We still haven't used the beads. We still haven't used um, that other room in the temple. We still haven't gone to that second floor house or the top floor of this area, was which is locked. Like I, I don't know. I just feel like there's more to to do here, and we're far from done. All right, let's go enter Osa and Dissa. Osa Dissa. So, he mentioned that the uh, the cave system was Bosch. So I guess those are Bosch's tunnels. That that area that uh, that has the typewriter thing. I'm assuming the game is not going to give me any affirmation that I put in the right things. I'll just have to take the code back over here to the this island, I guess. I, mean, I guess I could always send Sam over to do it. He can let go of the wheel for a little bit, right? <laughs> oh, man. I gotta admit, I, I am kind of regretting making this LP blind, but there's a part of me that is really relishing in a lot of these moments of discovery. Like, there's just something about capturing this on camera that's really fun. Alright, so we go back to Bosch, which is here. So we'll call that area Bosch. We need to come up with the name for this island thing. I guess we'll call it Wanderer Central or something. Okay, we are back. Sorry you guys have to watch this sequence a whole bunch of times. It felt a lot slower than it normally goes. Maybe because I'm getting really excited for getting this sequence here. I'm so glad we, we took the notes earlier for what the different uh, symbols sound like. Because if we had to go all the way back to the big, uh, where Sam started, oh man, we'd be up a creek right now. Because we'd have to come all the way back, not only here, but go back through the temple, then go to Sam's ship, and then go all the way back to the balloon thing. Like, that's... That would just be terrible if we had to backtrack all that way. I remember a lot of my friends complained about Riven. Not, not, not a lot of friends, but mainly, I'm thinking of one in particular complained about all the, the back and forthing of that game, especially when you had to change CDs. And I think this game was actually originally released on four CDs. Um, but uh, if, if I remember reading some of the reviews correctly. But I don't know, I felt like at least Riven had a couple of different places you could go to from most of the islands. So I didn't think that was as bad. Alright, so Ulsa is this one, I believe. And Disa is this one. Okay, I think that's our combination. I'm going to take a photo of that. So that looks like 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, uh, 13, 16. So let's switch over to Sam. I wonder what Mr. Uh, What's-His-Face is thinking about our... Uh... <laughs> 
are flooding the thing and unflooding it over and over again. Alright. I figured after all the walking around back and forth, I'm not going to make Hannah go all the way back here, at least not yet. It's not until we need to talk to Mr. Guy again. I keep, now I just forgot his name. Donald Trump. <laughs> That's who it is. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm, it's getting late. I'll probably stop recording after this. I was, get, I was just really excited about recording this video because of the whole dimensional shift thing. I was like, whoa, I could explore the whole world in a different setting. And then it turns out that wasn't the case. And I had to focus on this puzzle, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, so now we'll go to a different location. We're going to go here. Alright, so... I'm going to save my game here because I don't know if unlocking the Wanderer is going to have some kind of dire consequence for all of us here. Everyone's been warning us about this. And... I don't really know what to think at this point. Okay. So, are these all up? They are all up. So, we'll do... Let me pull up the picture here. I think it was, like, the third one. But let me check to be sure. Uh, not that. This one. Yeah, 3, 5. And then 7, 8. Okay, let me save my game here real quick. And then the other side is 9, 13, and 16. So let me try pressing the button and seeing what happens. I doubt this is going to be a losing scenario. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what did it do? Hi there. Are you the Wanderer? So, that's your decision. Well, so be it. That doesn't sound good. There's still time to save your friends. But you must hurry. Get to the balloon. Macho will do what it must. Think well of us. And remember, we tried. Okay. What have we done? I don't know. We can't. We just don't know enough. There must be something here that can help the Argelans. Maybe help everyone. One of those ritual protocols Maria seems to like. Okay. I'm hoping we're not under a timer right now. But I think next time we're going to have to figure out what we need to do next. And I still can't get to whatever that steel thing is. But at any rate... I feel like we were forced into this decision that seems to be the case. So I think there's more to do. But I think we're going to have to wait till the next video to find out what that is. So until then, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side.